Welcome everyone to another I am Alpharius. Whoa, right in the middle of the intro <laughs> like that? Jesus. You're I just had gonna to do lie it. to the people right as I'm trying to intro this thing? Ah, that was good. That's that's oh. a good I <laughs> Are you are you Alpharius DK? Um I am Alpharius, but that's that's a lie. So Good. Continue with okay. the intro. <laughs> am I doing the intro again or are we leaving this in? We, we, no, you're we, doing the, I don't, I don't know. I can decide that. Do the intro, dude. Okay, let's leave that in. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of the Adeptus Ridiculous Podcast. I'm DK Diamantes, not Alfarius, and today, Bricky's going to be teaching us some weird, ridiculous shit about Warhammer 40k. But before the episode gets started, if you enjoyed today's podcast, do consider going to patreon.com slash Adeptus Ridiculous and supporting the podcast. You get access to our Discord, bloopers if they happen, <coughs> how various, um, and you get, uh, there's a Imperial Coon comic that is going on right now that is exclusive to the Patreon, but later on will be on the website. Uh, the second batch of those comics is out, and you don't want to miss it because it's, ooh, it's spicy. Uh, speaking of spicy things, you also get access to HD posters. Uh, that are very abtastic, so go check it out. Uh, Bricky, merch, and a book club. Book club. Uh, yes, merch. Orchid8.com. Check in the description. Adept's Ridiculous shirts, hoodies, Doge Van Dyer stickers, orders over $75 in the U.S., free shipping. Also, book club, we are reading Soul Hunter by Aaron Dembski Bowden. Bowden, I don't know how you say his name, about the, the story of Talos Valkorin and First Claw of the Night Lords. Uh, DK, I don't know how far you are now, but are you enjoying it still? It's so good, dude. It's, <laughs> I, it might be my favorite book that we've read so far. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm like pacing myself cause I don't want to go through it too quick. So I'll get to like a big moment. I'll be like, yo, I gotta stop. I don't, <laughs> I gotta process what just happened, and I gotta make sure that I am prepared for the next. And it's 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 great. It feels like it's a nice combo of like the jokey yuck 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 stuff from Infinite of the Divine, but also a lot of serious shit from like the way Gaunt was. I love it. I, I fucking love it. It's great. It, it's humorous because the jokey yuck stuff isn't actually jokey yuck stuff. It's more like really depressing sad night lord stuff but then doing something slightly out of character mm -hmm. or, or making it, it or cracking like a small joke and it's like that's out of that's out of nowhere it's not the same level of humor but the tiny bits of humor like add so yeah. much more to it just that a night lord is doing this is like okay wow all right great but yeah i love it good also you know when you say that you're not alfarious you know how girls always say they're fine when they're not fine <laughs> But you have to pretend like you're fine, and they just don't. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's I you pretending like you're not Alfarious. I know the truth. I know you. Hey, I'm not Alfarious. Yeah, bullshit. Yeah, you're not Alfarious. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. We keep that on the down low. Don't, don't be exposing me on our podcast. There's just plans within plans. There's layers <laughs> on layers. Alpha, the Alpha Legion symbol should just be a fucking onion. It's a big onion because it has layers, just like Shrek. Just and it makes me cry. <laughs> So, so, I have no know idea. What's, uh... what we're... Yeah, go ahead. Yes. No, I, we're, we're both about to say the exact same thing. We both were just like, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm like, you don't know what's going on. I have no clue. No idea. Uh, like I said uh, before, when we were talking, um, I was like, well, the only thing that pops up in my head as to what it could be, I was like, maybe we'll talk about the rest of the Alpha Legion. But I can't imagine caring about the rest of the Alpha Legion besides Alfari... Alf Alpharius and Omegon because everybody else is just trying to copy both of them. So I'm like, it can't be that. So what the hell are we talking about? Yeah, they don't really have any supplementary characters, which is a little bit unfortunate, or at least not mm -hmm. a whole lot of them, like everyone else does. Uh, we're, we're going a little bit more more chill today. We're going to have a fun time. This, is, uh, this was Shy's recommendation, and it won't surprise you when we actually get into it. We are going to be pulling off a squig tier list. <laughs> I, I love the half second it took you to just process that. <laughs> a a you squig know, that does, tier list. That does seem like a shy request. A squig tier list. Okay. Are you going to have like a, a tier list maker uh, oh, pop it up? Oh, check Discord, my friend. 
I'm oh my we're God. way ahead. Uh, brought oh to God. you, by, brought to you by Shy. She put together this squig tier list and all the images to go with the squigs. <gasps> oh I'm gonna need, I'm gonna God. need her help a little bit on what's what. Um, so hopefully she can, she can assist me with that. And on, because I don't know, a lot of the squigs look similar to other squigs, but you don't know what their purpose is as a squig. So oh, cool. We actually, oh, that's great. I love it. I love it. And we'll we at least start off with the first one while we're while we're looking. Because we got this this I'm gonna place this here, it's like a placeholder. Okay. We got sure. this demonic ass looking thing. <laughs> that little ball of teeth and flesh. Is is that just like a base squig? Is that just So that that is a great cave squig. Oh. It's a uh quote we have to use a uh we're using an excerpt from 1D4 Cham for most of these squigs. <laughs> oh no. Um <laughs> the the great cave squig is a they say an attack squig given steroids. It's a larger variant grown to such a large size that has become as large as an imperial warehouse. Whoa. And it's the sec the second largest the non-squigeth family. So <laughs> they make a big they squig. make uh, apparently they're used as cavalry for night goblins. So and is it called a great cave squid because it's the size of a fucking cave? I think I think it it's actually is used uh, to to tunnel in caves. It, it's oh, like okay. it's like a gigantic wrecking ball of cave of, of squigginess. Okay. Cool. Uh where, where should we put the great cave squid? You know, the great cave squid is kind of neat, but it lacks a lot of the memeiness of the squig. I think yeah. I think the Great Cave Squig would go into a, a solid like a solid B tier in the in the middle. Yeah, what do you think? I was gonna say so, like if not B, definitely a high C. So I, I think B is fine. I'll I'll go with you on B. Yeah. You know what? I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with the high C with you on that one because I loved that drink growing up. Yeah, that's uh that's that's a that's a tasty beverage. I don't remember All right. what high C flavors I drank, but I was gonna next mean, up. But... We have the, well, this is a bomb squig actually. I was gonna say that looks like a squig that they attach bombs to the head, and then you, it would just run at people, and it would just collide with someone. And pfft. this is a bomb squig. A bomb squig literally does exactly that. It runs at the opponent with mines and <laughs> explosives, and it fucking blows up. Let's go. That's a so, that's a that's a that's a that's a that's a courageous squig right there. Not that it knows it. He's serving courageous. his purpose. He yeah, is serving, serving it well. His his importance. He runs at something and he just fucking explodes and he dies with it. You, you know, there's actually um some ab <laughs> some abilities in the in the codex where like the bomb squig is you can put him inside of a unit and it can just run up into like underneath a vehicle and then just explodes and then like the, like, oh. a, a tank is flipped over or something. It's great. <laughs> is that I'm I'm assuming? Could you use that in the tabletop? Is there like yeah. a bomb squig? To, oh shit! I mean, you lose the unit, but eh, it's, it, it's well, if do you so use it like a little, then. a little marker you put next to a squad of orcs, and then you can just send it at the enemy and it blows up. Oh, bomb squigs okay. are, are awesome. Gotcha. I'm putting the bomb squig in A. Yeah, I like I, I like I, the bomb squig. I, I was gonna say that's get the bomb squig is gonna be a very very high tier. If not S, has to be A. All right, this little man right here. <laughs> this, this is a boom squig. <laughs> uh. I don't know if Shy can put these two images together, but the boom squig looks like Vehek from Warframe. It looks like Vehek. Oh face. my god. It looks so <laughs> funny. <laughs> it does look really funny. Um so so boom squig you said, right? Boom squig. They are fired out of heavy squig launches or squig launches. <laughs> uh they're sometimes known as mine squigs because they look like mines because they're so flat. Mhm. Mm uh, I, I don't think <laughs> I don't think you have. Uh, there, here's another image for of of the boom squig. He's a little he's a little flat boy. He looks like a little pancake squig. <laughs> he is um, a little pancake squig, isn't he? <laughs> they they have a defense mechanism where they violently explode at the slightest provocation, sometimes physical contact or a loud noise, or apparently oh. sometimes they have indigestion and they just fucking explode. Indigestion. <laughs> the the boom squig has indigestion and blows up. That's such an orc thing. Uh, so would would how many orcs has this thing killed when they're loading into the, like a, a a launcher? Because you said they could be launched out of a squig launcher. So you got to yeah, load it's like that a catapult, shit up, right? <laughs> so it's, it's like a little it's like a little catapult. 
died to this thing. Well, apparently orcs use it a lot as practical jokes where they'll put oh, it no. beneath the seat <laughs> of, of a driver and then it explodes into the air like a whoopee cushion. Only the orcs would use an actual explosive squig as a gag on their own like tank drivers. They are, they are oh. absolute absolute kings for that alone. Mm -hmm. I, I think right. I think this is a solid a solid A tier squig. Oh yeah, you gotta go A tier, especially when you're when you have the orcs using them as like not only for destructive purposes against their enemies, but as a fucking pseudo whoopee cushion. It's gotta be A tier, dude. It has to this, be. This is an A tier squig. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. The oil squig. Oh. That just looks like an oil. That, that just, oh, oh, oh! He's got the oil squig under his arm. I was like, that just looks like an orc engineer or something. I was like, where's the squig? Ah, there's It's an the oily squig. squig. Yeah, yeah it's an oil, he's got a little thing in his mouth. He's used to oil stuff. They, they, uh, the squigs <laughs> secrete a fancy type of, like, th I don't know, oil, I guess. And they use it to make sure that, that their stuff works. You know they gotta they gotta make sure that they uh they squeeze them and then the oil drifts out and they use it to make sure their stuff works. <laughs> okay, I mean, it's cute and everything, but do you think we might have our first D? Because it, it's it's just it's just oil and they're orcs. If the orcs believed hard enough, they wouldn't even need to oil their machines. You make a good point. I might have to I might have to throw oil squig into D. You know, I know this was actually a second oil squig on here. It's the Graw Oiler over here. I'll put him on <laughs> on C though because he's like the same size as the squig, and I find it reminds me of like carrying my pillow at summer camp. <laughs> Aww, okay, he can be in C then. He can be, he can be in C. In C, fine. All right, this fucking lad. Whoa. Like, oh, whatever. This lad. He this looks is a vicious. This is a new model that just came out. Okay. It just came out. It's fucking awesome. I don't know the exact name of the model, uh, but it's he's he's an orc war boss and he's riding a great white squig. It's a gigantic albino Ooh. squig with like metal teeth. Okay, that's amazing. It looks ferocious as hell. It's it's essentially a great white shark as a squig, basically. That dude, like. I that has to be S tier, right? You, I, I'm I honestly know. considering S tier on this thing. There's a picture I posted in, in the chat. Look at that fucking thing. It's got a, it's oh. just got a, like a, a pistol <laughs> shoved into its head. <laughs> and S -tier. rocket boosters on its side. This is S tier. This it is S tier shit. This is our first S tier. No questions. Soon as I saw that thing, it was like, oh, baby. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's it how is... you know the orc riding it is a fucker. Like, he, boy, if I could ride into battle on a squig, it would be that one, hands down. There is a great, great ability. Okay, so I know you don't understand much about the tabletop yet, but for those of the people who do, they came out with his rules. Uh, I actually think he's really fucking strong. Maybe a little too oh. strong. Oh. Um, he's 170 points, and he's like... He's like T6, like like nine wounds. He's he's really strong. But the main thing is that his squig has this ability where the squig makes three additional attacks with his mouth. And if you wound somebody with a six on, on that, you roll a six to wound, it does four mortal wounds, which I don't think you understand. But if you just happen to roll boxcars, like you just happen to roll two sixes, on on the three attacks you get with the squig, you've basically one shot Gilliman. <laughs> Whoa! Like Gilliman is just gonna Whoa. get fucking crunched in half by the great whites. Can you imagine? He's <laughs> dead for ten thousand years, and he comes back and just gets fucking cut in half by Chunk a giant albino half. squig. <laughs> so, oh man, that so that's a very powerful unit then. Like, well, you obviously you got to get a little lucky. But it's not yeah. unheard of. It's not. Damn. I I personally think, personally, I think he might be a little little op, uh, yeah, just because of how <laughs> how cheap he is. Mm -hmm. Um, but I I mean this is this is early. The codex was like just leaked. I'm not gonna you know you don't want to talk about balance until you've actually sure. fought it a bit. But it looks yeah. frightening. Next up, 
bagpipe squig. Oh my god. Please the tell squig me pipe. it's only... Please tell me the only purpose of thing this thing is for for music and to play a little jig and to increase morale and it's it's just bagpipes. It's just sentient bagpipes. I th- I think it literally is just squig pipes. <laughs> I don't think I don't think there's anything more to it. You you, you inflate it up by blowing in its like rectum or something. Oh, and then and then no. you and then you squeeze it and it makes terrifying noises. Uh, apparently, oh. it's like it's like you know. Imagine bagpipes. I know some people don't like bag, bagpipes. I don't mind them, but imagine like mm. a thousand bagpipes out of tune. Oh, it's just it's just this never ending. I honestly, I would put the squig pipe in S tier because it's so fucking stupid. I was literally gonna say for only the meme potential. It kind of has to go into S tier, doesn't it? I think it squid kinda... pipe still belongs in S tier. Yeah, low S tier, but S tier nonetheless. It's the lowest. It's S minus. Yeah, exactly. It just makes it in because it's so memey and stupid and and just. <laughs> uh, so Shy tells me this is the cave squig again. So he's gonna go next to the other one. Um, oh, okay. This is the spore squig. It looks like a little tyrannid. Oh. It looks gross with all those little like spores and holes on it. Ugh, ugh. Uh, I, I don't like. Uh, I don't. I don't like the. Well, I don't really have it as much as everyone else does. But if you got trypophobia, this isn't your favorite thing. Oh yeah, you want to click away from the screen if you got that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Apparently, they're used as like fu- by fungoid cave shamans. They're um and, like they're really? like the, the they're like <laughs> leper, which are like the lepers of goblins. Uh-huh. Uh, apparently, apparently they secrete like some kind of like LSD gas. <laughs> so apparently, really? it, it's just it's just a living hookah, and then all the green boys sniff it. And they're like, "Oh yeah." <laughs> God, that's oh, that's the the mental image of that is horrible. By the way, just all these orcs surrounding this big ugly spore and just. Oh yeah, feet, right? Like it's just oh, oh, uh, oh is this the geez. is this the Doge Van Dyer squig? <laughs> yeah, this is the wiki feet uh uh squig. Squiggy yeah. feet. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I say I say this is a good this is a, a good A because apparently it literally gets them high on the battlefield and if you're too close to it, like the other humans or guard or whoever will mm-hmm. be like they got hit with a dose of LSD just by being near it and then they start tripping. <laughs> That's fucking funny. I'm putting it in A. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with A because it it looks really gross. Uh, it's got some meme potential, um, mental images of it, hilarious, and it could actually be pretty useful against an enemy. You trip them out on LSD and then they're a lot easier to kill. This is a limpin' squig. Apparent, apparently, it's a squig that they use for blood bowl. Uh, but and they 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 cut off one of its legs so it can't run away. So it's oh, the limpin squig. So sad. Oh my god, that's brutal. So it's 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 a football. It's literally a football squig. Oh, that's... and it lost a leg. Oh, that's brutal. But... B for B for ball. Oh, yeah, B for ball. I was gonna say uh, it's sad, but it's just a football D tier maybe. But it's like, oh no, you gotta go for B for ball. Yep, B for ball. This is the OG attack squig. We thought this was the bomb squig earlier. I'm putting the OG oh. attack squig in A though because it's just it's a nice classic squig. It's the classic. You can't you can't be putting the classic OG the 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 father of all squigs into like D and C. You gotta, no, that, you gotta that's not fair. There. He's he's without him, there's nothing. He he is the squig. The squig. Uh, this is the bag squig. It's a bag. D. <laughs> are you are you sure though? Well, it's it's just a. Well, it looks horrifying. Like uh, that that picture of it is just like, I I don't I don't even the, <laughs> like it's it's hard to tell what actually it is. If it's just a bag, then yeah. Like, is the, is there anything special about this bag? Uh, it's alive. Uh, it's composed of a stomach and a little mouth and nothing else. 
and it just slowly digests food in, in its body the whole time as a bag until it dies. And then when it dies, it's tanned for like leather or turned into like a drink holder. It's what a bag. A pitiful existence. It's a bag squig. There's a part of me that's like, maybe give it like low C tier just because, like I said, what a pitiful existence. Like, can you imagine? <laughs> a, a sympathy, a sympathy placement. Yes. A sympathy, a C, 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 okay, never mind, it's fine. Yeah, C, this is low C tier. Hmm? Uh, the bat squig. Okay. It's a bat. <laughs> it's a bat. It, it is a bat squig. It is a squig <laughs> that flies with bat wings. Mm -hmm. And it is, it, it is just a squig with bat wings. Huh. And it and it just swoops in on the enemies and just. It is squid is attack squig, plus with bat, enemies. equals bat squig. It swoops well, in with and attacks enemies as a bat squig. So we obviously can't put that higher than the attack squig, right? I was thinking B for bat squig. <laughs> Good call. Good call. It's because it's not a bad squig. It looks cool. It's got bat wings. It flops around. It's probably pretty effective, but it's not like it's, you know, it's not like an S or A tier or anything. It's all right. It's cool. It's a B tier one. Yeah. Next up, yeah. this is the bile squig. Oh, uh, this no. one is also used uh, in the squig launchers and, and heavy mm -hmm. squig launches. And what this thing is done is they launch them by the handful. And while in the air, they like squeal and thrash around, freaking the fuck out, firing out acid, poison, and flammable fluids in every direction. Sometimes it does nothing. Sometimes the enemies will burst into flames, explode, or dissolve. Oh. And so, and so you fire it out, and it's just like, it just starts going, Ree! and it fuck starts <coughs> spewing bullshit out of its eyes and mouth and everything. Whoa. That's horrifying. It that's is. Abso that's absolutely horrifying. That's horrible. Uh, a tier because I, I can't imagine this little crazy fucking squig just. Oh god, that's that's nightmare fuel, with just bile and disgusting acid coming out of every pore as it flies through the air. Yeah, oh, it's just a giant god. writhing, spinning that. Oh yeah, a a tier because that's oof, may maybe S tier because that's. That's a mental image that is going to fuck with you, right? Like, if you're on the battlefield and you see one of those flying through the air, you're just like, oh, no. That's I'll, I'll give it... I think we should do A tier. I don't know if I could, in good conscience, put it in the same tier as bags, Bagpipe Squig <laughs> and the Great White Squig. That's fair. A t definitely a solid A tier, for sure. All right. Next up, this is the Bitey Squig. Oh, that is a very weird uh, picture <laughs> on the tier list thing of it, because I couldn't tell what that was at first. I was like, is that's that's not like an orc bent over or something, is it? This isn't like an NC-17 squig, is it? No, he's just holding him. Okay, okay. Good, you see, good, you good. see the nails like up top? Right? That's his hand. Oh, okay, okay. The picture was cut up very weird. I thought the squig just had, like, spike spines. No, it's... It's... It is... A bitey squig, imagine it a lot like a squig piranha. It's just got very oh. bitey little 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 mouths, and it just runs at things screeching, and it just goes like. Rrr, rrr, rrr. Oof, boy, that's horrifying too. Actually, that sounds like an awful thing to have to deal with. Um, it's also got like stingers and stuff in the tail and all that. It's kind of weird. What do you? I there's a part of me that's thinking like maybe maybe high B maybe maybe A. I was that's, thinking that's... I was thinking high B as well. Yeah. Because you you load this into the same squig launcher cannons, uh, but instead of actually exploding or turning into like acid, it's just firing like a screeching, biting little piranha. It's a piranha yeah. launcher. <clears throat> yeah. As as awful as that sounds, it's like ah. Uh... The bile squig sounds way more terrifying to deal with. The bitey squig is like, yeah, it's coming at you. It's going to bite you. But it's not like it's going to dissolve you with bile coming out of its eyeballs or anything. All right. Yeah, be, are you be ready? Solid. Are you ready for the next one? <laughs> yeah. This is the bowel torrent squig. I don't like that name. 
<laughs> I do. I don't like that name. The Bowel Torrent Squig. Bowel uh, Torrent Squig. Tell me what it does. Uh, I'm not sure. It's what? it's used really? as ammunition. <laughs> it's used as ammunition like the other squigs, mm -hmm. but there's not a whole lot of discussion of it in the fluff. And apparently, it's just it might expend its munitions, quote unquote, in a bowel torrenty way. So it might shit you to death. Ew. Well, that's gross. You know, but, I, there's not there's not a lot on this one. Besides the hilarious name, there's not a whole lot of there's not a yeah. whole lot going on with this man. I, I'm gonna say, like, aside from the name sounding horrific and the potential of it shitting you to death, I, low C just for the fact that it's called a bowel torrent, and that'll probably unsettle you a little bit. But other than it that, goes higher than than D tier for that simple sta uh, fact alone. Yeah, definitely. All right, let's get a good one here. The Burna Squig. Whoa, <laughs> this thing. Whoa, is it is it just like burning from the inside, and those are all just like burn spores on it? It's that a living. It's a living Molotov. Oh, really? It is a living, r running, speedy Molotov. I love that, by the way. So, like, does it just run into someone and they can, and like he just like leaves a trail of fire, or does he just <clears throat> into like a big fireball? I think he just explodes into a giant fireball, as opposed to like a boom squig that just explodes. This mm -hmm. one is a is a living, breathing Molotov, and it runs up and just starts to like spew fire and just turn into a giant explosion. Well, you got to give that S tier, right? I think I think I might. Uh, S or A? It's pretty. It's, it's one of those two. If it's two. A, it's high A. It's it's like on the cusp of S, if not S, because that. I, I'm although I'm basing a lot of this on the fact that it looks so cool. I uh, mean, I guess, looks are part of a tier list. It does yeah, look dope. Yeah, they are. It looks really dope. But I guess. I mean, once the Molotov blows up, it's gone. Whereas in S tier, well, granted, our our bagpipes are are just there for the the, the fucking bagpipes, but the the great white shark will take out a lot of dudes. This this uh, is an eight. This is an A tier squig. Okay, upper. I think it's upper an A tier squig. A -tier. I'll go with that. I'm I'm fine with that. All right, we got now the buzzer squig. Damn it, the you buzzer squig. Are. Okay, the buzzer squig. It's an insect variation of squig that is oh. uh, flung from a catapult. And it is literally flying like mosquito piranhas that in a gigantic swarm of bugs will strip like all the flesh from a person and then move ah. on to the next. It, it is a swarm of like locusts or or like oh. it, it's a it's a flying swarm of those scarabs from the mummy. Oh, God. So those. OK, so immediately I'm like, these have to be a higher tier than the bitey squig, because this sounds like the bitey squig, but on f fucking steroids, because there's a bunch of them. They fly around and they just strip you clean down to the bone and they look horrifying. I oh boy. Um, so I they got to be at least a tier. Really, I was thinking high B tier, mainly because they, I think they look uninspired. They look like just bugs with big mouths. Fair. Yeah, I'll go high Fair. B. High yeah, B. I'll go high B. High B. Yeah, sure. All right. So that was the buzzer squig. This is the buzzing squig. <laughs> the buzzing squig <laughs> is a gigantic helicopter bug, and with a gigantic mosquito-like stinger that flies into oh. the person. And, and and digs their way into your flesh and goes inside your body and then out the other side and then comes back again like a flying bullet. Ew. I don't like these things. I find them very uncomfortable. Yeah, I was going to say that that description of them is very uncomfortable and I don't I don't like it. Also, they look very unsettling. Like, it doesn't they, they look do. like your traditional squig. Like, most of these squigs are, like, these sort of pinkish, reddish, purplish blobs that have, like, big mouths. This thing looks, oh, it just, it looks like a twig, and it's, it's, it's very unsettling. I don't like him. 
I don't like when they they divert from the squig formula too much. I like mm -hmm. I like when they they keep it with the silly funny orc orangey boy, and this is just a giant horrifying mosquito with a nail. Yeah. You know you so know what, what? I'm I'm putting him in D. I don't like him. Yeah, I don't I like him. I was gonna say I was gonna say lower tier. Like what he does is terrifying, but it just doesn't seem like a squig, and this is a squig tier list. This is the and least he, squiggy squig we've seen so far. Even the bag exactly. squig has yeah, more squigness. Squig. Yeah, it looks like a squig just with a bunch of, you know, pipes coming out of it. Yeah, D tier because it doesn't have squig energy. It doesn't have that <laughs> BSE, big squig energy, right? Big squig energy. All right, well, if we're going to talk about squig energy, this is the <laughs> oh, colossal <man>. squig. <laughs> Speaking of big squig energy, oh my god. And this a is an <laughs> enormous enormous squig it is it is normally used as a gigantic battering ram with ah, a big gee, fucking noggin <laughs> damn and if anything tries to get in the way it just eats it Ow. it, it has a giant <laughs> mouth it got this two little funny legs and its little tail and it runs up eating or bonking things in the face and then if it dies it blows them to smaller versions of the cave squigs you, we talked about earlier Oh shit, really? <laughs> yeah, it's the largest Whoa. variant of squigs known in existence besides squigets, which are like more like a mammoth. So it's like a T-Rex squig that'll explode into velociraptors. It is the uh. ultra squig. It is a squigma male. You have to put that in S tier. S for squigma male. The squ <laughs> squig squig oh trillionaire <laughs> mindset. Oh stop! Squid, but, it, get on that squig squig grind set. All right, I'm on. I'm on the squig uh, grind set. All right, <laughs> I'm a squig my male. You either you either are on the squig grind or you're food for the squig. Oh boy, how did we? S get here? for squig my male. Squig. Oh yeah, yeah. So what's the next? Although I gotta say that colossal squig is really sick. I it's really that. cool. Besides the fact that you hate me saying squig my mail, it is yeah, fucking aside, awesome. Aside from the memes, and just what it does sounds really cool, too. Not only is it a giant battering ram with giant teeth, but it explodes into, like, little cave squigs, and it's like, that's so cool. That's so sick. So, it is yeah. super sick. All right. What the fuck this, is that? that <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, my, my, it's my grandmama's fruitcake. <laughs> uh, literally, it it's, a, it's eaten... It's an Eden squig. You eat it. Oh. Oh it's just, no. It's just a no. blob. <laughs> oh, you do they, do they literally eat that? No, yeah, this is their food. It's this eating squig. Oh, gross. Oh, I hate it. It oh, God, that looks so gnarly, dude. I hate it. Do you, do you really hate it? I think it looks kind of funny. I hate it. it. Well, it looks funny, but can you imagine taking a bite out of that? I mean, yeah, it looks funny. <laughs> it does. It looks funny, but I wouldn't want to, like, cut into that and be like, oh, yeah, tasty. Ugh, yeah, but God. you're not an orc. Can you imagine what that tastes like? Who cares? That's orcs. True. It is orcs. Do you think orcs have chefs? Mm. I, mm, probably. I Look, I could imagine an orc with a chef hat and, like, a chef apron. I can actually imagine that, and it's pretty fucking funny. Uh, apparently, it's mostly grots. Grots do all the cooking. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, well, here's the Eden Squig. Um, <laughs> I you don't like him. I like him. I'm putting him in C. We're gonna go through the middle ground. All right, low C. You put the. He has a funny name too. He looks funny. Has a funny name because he's an Eden Squig. You you eat him. Um, and it looks derpy as fuck. <laughs> I'm surprised someone hasn't made like a plush pillow that's just an Eden Squig. That actually sounds like a great idea. A giant squig right? pillow. Right. Um, this is a face eater squig. Oh, I. Uh, these are often these are often used as, as binge eating contests, and they've got <laughs> giant sawtooth mouths. And and oh, I think we talked about these, didn't we? I I think we did, but like for a second, that picture was a little small, so I couldn't quite tell what it was. And then I was like, oh shit, that's the the he's holding the squig up with the big mouth, and he's got his mouth open too. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, we did talk about these uh in the orc episode, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, they have a competition where they both try to like eat each other, and if the orc dies, he loses. But if he eats the squig, he wins. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> it is very dumb. 
Uh, it looks like that orc in that picture is gonna lose though, because that. I think it's a. I think it's a Gretchen in that picture. It looks like a yeah, Grot. That, that that Gretchen or Grot or whatever looks like it's gonna get its face eaten, because that that squig has its mouth open way wider. I don't see how that orc or Gretchen or whatever it is thinks it's gonna beat that face eater squig. I say we do B tier. It sounds fun enough. Yeah. Yeah, the All competition right. for using it, like, to see which one eats the other one's face first is, is cool enough for B, yeah. Its use is the more fun part. Mm -hmm. All right, Flesh Eater Squig. Oh. I hate this one. It's just a rat. Oh. That's it? It's just a rat? Just it's a it's, like, a, it's rat? like a little rat crocodile thing, and they use it to eat flesh. Oh, like when there's too many corpses, they're just like, here, throw some rats at it? Kinda, they, they use them as like wealth, or they use them to help get the money, which is of course teeth. Oh. Yeah. Well. I don't like them. Yeah. They're they're they they're, sound... they're used as like as like money. If you have a lot of them, it's it's good for you. But like that's it. I don't I don't like them. It just looks like a rat. Yeah. It just looks like a dumb. It looks like a big dumb rat. D tier. D tier it is. D tier. This is a yep. gas squig. <laughs> a gas squig. <laughs> Literally farts you to death. Oh. It, it unleashes Wario Wear Smooth Moose level of stank, and and the fire and those that gas is lethal and it will kill you. Whew. Mm. That's that's a that's that's a lot. That's a lot to take in. That it's is a lot, lot to take in. <laughs> on, is... You know, on the plus side, it looks like a squig. It does. It looks like a squig. It is. Devastating, because the the gas is poisonous, right? It'll the gas is extremely in, poisonous, and it he boy he looks like he lets out a lot of it. So yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good squig. B -tier, I think it's a decent squig. Yeah, B B tier, B tier squig. Yeah, looks like a squig, super deadly. What was its name? It's just a gas squig. Su gas squig. Suitable name. Yeah, B tier. Yeah. All it's right. Fine. This one. These are the cape squigs. Oh my god, they, is that what they're doing? <laughs> they carry your cape. They are regal. They are dignified. Oh god. <laughs> they they ho make sure your cape doesn't touch the floor. They might be trying to eat your cape. We don't know. I, I've been looking at S that rank. picture. I've been looking at that picture this whole time wondering what those two squigs were doing. I'm like, oh, are they like puking out like sludge? Are they like, oh man, maybe they uh maybe maybe they spew out this like toxic black bile and it's really horrible and it's all rubbery and you can't get out of it. And you're telling me, while all of this was going through my head, those two fucking squigs were just carrying someone's cape? Yeah, they just they're they're cape carriers. They might they might be eating it. We don't know. <laughs> S tier. S tier. S, -tier. S rank. S -tier. Sure. Fuck All right, <laughs> I want to do a I want to do a lightning round because we got a whole bunch of these fucking black and white ones. Okay, lightning round. Let's do it. All right, For stalag squig. It's a squig, but it's a stalactite. Uh, D tier. I'm putting it in C tier. I kind of like Fine, it. Fine, put it in C tier. All right, <laughs> gob squig. W what does it do? I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, uh, gob squig. I can't even. I can't even find a link for it. I can't even find a link for it. D tier. I don't know what it does. D tier because it looks fucking dumb. Yeah. It looks fucking D -tier weird. D for dumb. D for dumb. Yep. Guard squig. What's it do? Uh, guard. It's like a hound. It's like a hound dog. Attack dog. Oh. Uh, D for dog. Nah, I put in C. I like dogs. Ah, uh, fine. Fine. <laughs> All right. It's not like he's pebble. Yeah, it's true. Is this if, it, if he looked like Pebble, I'd put him in S tier. Is this what I th is this the hair squig? <laughs> what? S rank. It's hair. It's literally just hair. It's just hair? It's it is a squig that they use for hair. It is their hair. Oh. Orcs don't have orcs don't have hair. If they have hair, it's because they have a squig that's hair oh on God. them. <laughs> So if, if you see as if you see an orc that has hair, it's actually a squig. It's it is a squig being used for hair. <laughs> squigs so are wigs. Stupid. That's so stupid. I love S S for stupid. And, S and rank. That's the most orc thing I've ever fucking heard. <laughs> All right, herd squig. Um, they they heard. 
They, oh, they heard? That's it? They, They're just like, what are they, like cattle? Uh, I guess they heard like, like she, uh, they heard like other variants of squigs. They're like a pet squig. They're fast and scary, uh, I guess. Uh, uh, C, C tier. C tier, yeah. All right, horned squig. It's a squig with a big horn. <laughs> no kidding. I was like, that's a fitting name right there. Uh, do they use them in combat? Like, uh, can you? I, I would assume you could use them in combat and like absolutely fucking uh, impale. Uh, yeah. Okay. With one of those. I like this guy a lot because they literally are used as ramming squigs with giant horns, and sense. and then it, sometimes if they get shot or killed or something, an orc will strap it to its forearm to use it to shank people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting this in oh, A tier I'm for that reason a, I alone. was gonna say uh, A tier because like uh, impaling awesome but that little bit about <laughs> just I'm gonna take just two fist sounds great so yeah A tier yep mm -hmm. paint squig oh my god let me guess it's just it's just for painting and art it's and just crafts. for painting war paint wall paints uh, banners it's paint squig it looks like a it looks like a fucking used condom oh D tier just because it looks like a used condom D tier yep very well, if you say so, I won't stop you. Parasite hunts and squig. <laughs> Parasite hunts. That thing looks gross. Yeah, it doesn't look like a squig either. It doesn't. What, what Lack it, of so squig. What does it do? It hunts parasites. Oh, they're 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 sure. like those tiny little feeders you put on your body to eat like other parasites, like a oh, symbiotic rice. Like, like a leech type deal. Yeah. Yeah, like a little tick. Yeah. That thing's yeah. gross. It doesn't look like a squig. It's lame. Yeah. Uh, all right. Now we're into some good stuff. Okay. This is this is the screech squig. All right. It has I'm oversized screeches. It has oversized lungs and it screams incredibly loudly. What it, it's very it's used like the bitey squig and the and the bile squig where it's loaded into the the rocket launchers, which is where it's in right now. And you mm -hmm. fire it at the enemy, and it's basically like a makeshift fucking flashbang because it's just like screeching at the top of its lungs. And everyone oh. can't, they can't hear it and they have to like cover their ears and they can't, you know, they're distracted. Well, that's, that sounds very useful. Um, I, you know, with how useful that is in combat, I gotta say, that's gotta be an A tier, right? That's gotta be up there. Like, if the, if the, uh, horn squig can be an A tier for its uses, this thing has to be at least A tier. Like, I'd put this above the, the hookah squig. You know what? I'm with you on that one. Well, actually, I don't know. It does. It does go re. It literally re's. <laughs> it literally does. It screeches. Yeah, yeah. So I kind of want to put an S tier. Ooh. Is it? Is it? Is it good enough to be with hair squig and cape squig? <laughs> it, it literally. It literally. They fire a a small like reing child at people, which is pretty great. <laughs> when you describe it like that, you're really convincing me that it deserves to be an S tier. I, like S or give, high give it A? Give it low S tier. All right, bottom of S tier, S minus. Bottom of S tier, yeah, because that's okay. <laughs> Snuffle squigs. <laughs> These are sounds like such a cute name, but that does not look like a cute thing. <laughs> it's a it's a pig. It <laughs> it's just a pig. It's just a pig. It's a pig. That's a pig. It looks kind of cool though. Like that, the, uh, that mini looks pretty slick. It does. Sometimes they'll babble uncontrollably, and sometimes they burst into flames. What? <laughs> yep. <laughs> they just sometimes burst into flames for no reason. Uh, yep. Huh. B tier. B tier for burst into flames. <laughs> No, B tier for bacon. Uh, nice. Thank you. Excellent job. This is the <laughs> spiky squig. <laughs> it fires out poison. Spiky. It's poisonous bars. Sometimes it's used as like a morning star or a flail weapon. It's just attached oh. to weapons and they, they bonk on people with them. Sometimes <laughs> they roll it around. Sometimes they roll around. They use it to hunt food. I mean, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I, mean, I was going to give it B. Yeah, get put it in there with that bacon. That bacon. <laughs> yeah, that bacon tier. Let's go. This is the sploding squig. Gee, what does the sploding squig do? It's it's basically a biological grenade. They throw them in combat when they've run out of stick bombs. <laughs> I, I think I think. Oh, that's right. 
their, digest their digestive juices combined with a special liquid causes them to explode. Uh, but they need to shake them. So they shake them <laughs> like, like a... So they grab them and they're like, shake, 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 shake. And then they throw them at people. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's like a poisonous soda bottle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically it's a giant poisonous exploding soda bottle. A tier. A tier. <laughs> a tier, no doubt about it. Uh, <laughs> um, is this... The, this is the mimic. Oh, please tell me it's a squig that just mimics anything on the battlefield. It's an orc parrot. Oh my god. It's got a giant... Look, see, look at the beak <laughs> mouth. <laughs> and it, and oh, it mimics what they it say. <laughs> they say, like, like, oh, it lads, more DACA. I was like, yeah, more DACA. <laughs> S tier. Put that motherfucker in S tier. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's that's equally as hilarious as the hair squig and the cape squig. It's just a parrot that makes what these idiots are saying. I love it. it it's generally <laughs> used by war bosses of these special pirate orcs called the Free Buddhas. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones. All right, yeah, we, right. Yeah, yeah. Buddha. We got a bunch more. Uh, a bunch more black and white ones. We got ruffle through these ones. All right. right, lightning round. Squidgen. What does it do? It's a pigeon squig. It's used for communication no. and sending notes. <laughs> not it's it's not as cool as the 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 mimic squig D tier. Good point. D tier it is. Actually, I'll put C because I do like the fact that it carries notes. Oh, okay. Fine. Um, uh, Menden squig. Uh, is that literally just like a healer squig that'll mend your wounds? Uh, it is. It is a. It is used for glorified like stitches. It's yeah. It's it's used for medical. Oh man, the picture looks weird. I can't tell what part is the squig and what part is the orc. Uh, C tier. I, I think it's care. I think it's used as a um. What where is it? The pain boy applies it to an open wound, which it holds closed with its tiny little teeth, and then it twists its tail off, leaving the head stuck in the flesh. Oh, it's a giant. It's it's a suture squig. It's basically oh. used like it's, it's like it's like a clamp, and then they pull the tail off, and it just stays there to keep the wound okay. That's so weird. C for care. C for care. <laughs> Squig hawk. Oh shit! <laughs> that at, that black and white picture makes it look really cool. I'm assuming it's just a hawk, and it just swoops in with its talons and like, ah. Um. They're B really for big. B for bird. It is. <laughs> uh, oh my god, what is what the hell is this one? Squig oh. Hound. Wait, did we already do Squig Hounds? I thought we did do a Squig Yeah, hound it's already. right here. We already had did it. I'll put next oh, to the okay. other Squig Hounds. Yeah, uh, yeah. Squig Shark. Oh fuck, Squig Shark A tier, dude. If, is that, if that's just a Squig that's a shark, A tier, yep. A tier, no doubt, Squig Shark. Uh, Serin, oh no, Swab Squig. Swab Squig? Swab what did, what Squig. Did, what did it do? Uh huh. It is a. What the fuck does it do? Uh, to. Oh, oh my god, it's a mop! <laughs> they also are used for uh, emergency handkerchiefs. <laughs> it, that has to be A tier for just the memory. It's, just, it's, it's a mop. 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 Yep. I'll put it in B tier. tier. I don't know if okay. it deserves A tier, but B tier definitely. Yeah, it's a so, mop, so B for bucket. <laughs> <laughs> syringe so squig. <laughs> God, it's just a syringe. It's just a syringe. Uh, D for doctor. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. Now we're getting into some good ones. All right. Um. All right. Targeting squig. Oh, that that uh, um crosshair eyeball thing is super cool. This thing they literally have like attached. To various types of uh, of, well, various types of like weapons, or mm -hmm. or sometimes like in the game you can actually take targeting squigs. It increases your chances to hit. <laughs> I man, I love the look of this thing. I love the the crosshair like iris that it's got going on. Um, so aesthetics alone, I want it at least in A. I think this deserves a high A. Oh, right around A here. for aim. Let's go. A for aim. Let's A go. For aim. Yes. Let's A go. For aim. Perfect. All right. <laughs> this is a tomb squig. Oh, please don't tell me it's a tomb squig because it just eats dead bodies. Uh, it 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 eats dead bodies. 
Oof. It's it's an albino breed of burrowing squig that feeds on corpses and the undead. Why do they have this? Is this just to clear the battlefield? Of they like... used to uh, break open sarcophagi and bite through oh. dwarves. And they're also used to devour the undead and the dead. Oh, I mean, it looks cool. It sounds gross. Maybe A for... Uh... I actually don't like it that much. Okay, well, looks, where do you it think looks it should kinda, be? I think you should go to C. I think it looks kind of dumb. Fair. I mean, what what use do you really have to burrow and open up sarcophagi as an orc? Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's just Sigmar maybe, but I don't know. I don't like the way yeah. it looks. All I kind right. of think it looks cool, but yeah, we'll go see. That's fine. Vampire squig. I'm assuming it's a mosquito. It is a little little vampire bat that's used to suck uh, like bad blood and things from wounds. D for Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The weird squig. Oh, yeah. It is a, it is a name. <laughs> psychic subspecies of squig. Ooh. They look they look like they look like the fucking winter lanterns from Bloodborne. Oh, they're very gross. I don't like it. They're often um, used as a psychic bomb. As like a psychic oh. grenade. And they just throw them. Oh, and then what if if you're caught in it, like you just lose your fucking mind? You just yeah, you go crazy. It's like it's like a psycho like grenades, oh. which are occasionally used. Man, that is that is an off-putting looking squig. I I don't know where to put it because it sounds really cool, but it don't look like a squig. But B it's got for a cool brain use. blast. Okay, I was gonna say B for bomb, but sure, yeah, that works. Yeah, that works. B B, B for brain looks like a brain. Oh, good call. B for brain. Let's go. All right, now we're getting to some of the newer ones that I'm really happy with. This right. is the Squig Hog. The Squig Hog. That's a the big squig boy hog. too, actually. That's a that's a that's a cool looking big boy. The Squig um, Hog is is a is a newer one. It's basically just like this big old riding mount with some big old jaws, and there's a Gretchen in the back and a an orc on the front. Looks really cool. Um, they use as like cavalry. So you just ride it? You just it's like a horse essentially, it's just like a big horse, like a ferocious big kind of that you ride. It's it's like orc cavalry basically. Yeah. Um I it like looks, it. I, but... I do too, but it's like all these other squigs have weird uses, right? And this one's just like yeah, you ride it. Yeah, maybe like a B. I was going to say C for cavalry, but you can go B if you want. I'm going to put I'm gonna, I think mm, I like C for cavalry, but I also really like the way it looks. The model looks good. The model does look great. I I will give you that. The model looks great. Maybe maybe high maybe upper high C, at the very cusp of maybe. Of but then I'm putting it in the same tier as food squig. Oh, that's. <laughs> I'm putting it in low B. Low B. Yeah, it is. give it low B. One. <laughs> I, I like your reasoning. Yeah, same tier as eating squig. <laughs> All right, this guy. All right, some masha squig. Ooh, what? He, I, I can't really see what's on his head. Oh, I. Oh, oh, good Ooh. God, that was close to what I liked. That didn't, that didn't help at all. <laughs> that did not. He's got something on his head. Uh, what? But what he do? Uh, he he's got okay. He's he's a squig with a gigantic metal plate in his face. Okay, and he's and he used just... to just run at people and smash really hard into them <laughs> with his big brainy boy. It's a giant, heavily armored plate put into his face, and then the dude in the back's got like a got like a shooter pistol, and he's running at you. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming these things can run pretty fast. Yes. Okay, I, man, that's that that sounds pretty great. Uh, especially for like uh, something that you're riding, like you run into something, you hit it real hard, and if it survives, you still got the guy on the back that'll shoot you. I mm, do what mm, I'm. 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 I'm debating between A and B tier here because I think it's I, cool I like, enough to be in one of those. I think. I think A tier, low A tier. Yeah, no, I, I like that, that squig. Yeah, he's cool. Uh, all right, squig. Go oh shit, squig gaba. This is a big, fat squig that fires other squigs out of its mouth like artillery. <laughs> any kind of squig? Can it, can it fire any squig? 
I actually don't know which types of squiggit cans, but it's literally chained down to like a platform like King Kong. And and then a bunch oh. of goblins are climbing all over it and it's just going whoop, 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 whoop. So it's like a giant mortar squig. It is a it is literally a howitzer squig. Oh boy, that's that's high. That's that's at least A tier. At I, I think I think A tier. I like this one yeah. a lot. And it, and it looks cool. It looks like a giant fucking frog or something. And it's just like, and it just spits out squigs. I like it. It's, it's really fun. A for amphibious this is looking. A, a for amphibious. <laughs> um, this is the squigasaur. This is like oh. the regular version of the great white squig. Oh, well, I mean, you got to put that in S then. I mean, not as hot, not, not like top tier S, like it's great white shark variant. But that's got to go in S, right? If we have like this the great literally white... is a T-Rex. It's a T-Rex squig. You it's got to go in S. S. It yeah, has I got to go. Undoubtedly. Mm -hmm. It's too cool. And Way last cool. but not least, we have the trample Ooh. squig. Oh, he's got armor. He's got cool He armor. does. He actually I'm... is really, he's got, he's carrying a giant like, like, um, what was it? Like, like a chariot almost. Mm -hmm. uh, it's this giant rig. Him, he's got him and like another squig. He's just this really, it's right. It's called the kill rig. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Let me, let me see if I can find this thing because it's, it is really funny looking. And I, and I really right. like it. All right. There it is. I got it. Let oh, did you put it, it in chat? I just did. Look at him. See, Look at how chunky Whoa. he is. He's so thick. Whoa. Is that the whole, that, that whole model is so dope. Oh that, they, shit! That literally, literally came out this, or was um, announced or whatever, just recently. Can look, I, I don't know if I'm supposed to do this, but can we put that in S tier just because of how cool the whole thing altogether looks, and because that thing looks pretty dope too. Looks like a fucking Stegosaurus. It does. We like our dinosaur squigs. I'll put it in S for the dino for the dinosaur. Yeah. Because I we like put it. the other two dinosaur squigs in there, mostly. Mm -hmm. Or, no, it looks like the uh, 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 Triceratops is what I meant to say. Even though it only has one horn instead of the... Wait a, f Wait a fucking second. Chai, did you list squigs under anime and manga, you fucking shit lord? <laughs> <laughs> Good one. That's that. No, these. this is so anime. It's a tier list, so uh, immediately it gets uh, put into anime and manga. Yep. Mm -hmm. I hate it here. Nah, you love it. You love it. I love it when we're talking about cool squigs. Cool so squigs. let's 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 take a look, recap at our squig tier list. Okay. Let's make sure let's, let's make sure we recap S properly because S is the most important. S is the so most important. We have the great white squig, obvious mm -hmm. contender. Obvious. We have the bag, uh, the uh, the squig pipes. <laughs> Amazing. Me, yeah, S tier meme. Yep. We have the colossal squig with his so squigwa male. Oh god, I thought we were done with that. <laughs> no, this is gonna be the new meme. You're gonna have to deal All with right. it. Okay, the squig. Okay. I mean, granted, the the most squigma male here is probably the great white squig and his rider. Yeah, probably. But but even so, cape squig. squig is, mm. <laughs> I still can't get over the fact that this whole time I was specifically looking at that because I was like, whoa, is that oil? Is that like some kind of crazy void that they're spewing out? No, they're holding a cape. And I was like, oh. God, <laughs> it's perfect. They have their they have their job. They're good boys. They're good boys. Yeah. Hair squig, obvious contender. <laughs> obvious, S obvious. Screeching squig. Oh, yep. I, I love how I love how he looks in there. He's like he he's so like... ready to go. Yeah. I was like, oh, he's like, oh, I'm so comfy in my home. <laughs> Dude, he's doing a pog face. <laughs> oh my God! Can we get a can we get a, a screaming squig pog emote for the Discord, please? Oh hell yeah! Join the Discord. Use go on Patreon. You can join the Discord <laughs> if you're on any tier. Join it. Uh, Parrot Squig. Oh yeah, excellent. That uh, one then, cemented S tier when you were like, oh yeah, more Daka, more Daka. <laughs> like, I, I it's so it, yeah. good for the free Buddhas. <laughs> and then our dinosaur Squigs. I, I'm a mm. little, I'm a little not sure. I, I almost might put this one in A. He's cool, but he's he's not like this guy's got got a whole. He's got some chunk. He does. And guy, he's carrying around a big old rig to a big sick rig, all on his own. That's true. 
Yeah, and if I'm if we're not gonna put the the bat battering squig or the targeting squig in S, I feel like we should put the dino squig in like high A. Yeah, maybe put him high A. I really yeah. like this big chunky squig though. He looks like a he's, like a big he, boar. He's great, and he carries around a load. Like he do he damn. does he do <clears throat> he do. I like D tier. It's really just a whole bunch of not squig looking squigs. Yeah, and an oil in squig fact, that's just like I oil ship. I almost feel bad about the oil squig being in D or along with like at least it yeah, looks like a squig. It does. It looks at least like a squig. Seeing I'm what all the rest of D tier looks like, I was gonna say, yeah, move it to C tier. For care. For we, we care, care about, about squigs. Him. Yeah, we care. care. Well, there we go. Everyone will agree with us. No oh, one yeah. will have other opinions. This is the unquestioned squig tier list. It is perfect. This is objective fact. Yeah, this is objectively the best tier list you will ever see in regards to squigs. Any other squig tier list you see is false and don't believe them. That's that's the heresy that you need to frown upon. Mhm. Mm it is mm -hmm. pure trash. Nobody oh, yeah. can agree can uh disagree with us. We are Gosh. the law. Garbage, those other two. Garbage. 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 Well, this is our squig tier list. The new Orc Ooh. Codex actually went on pre-order uh, this re just recently. Oh, so Shy's got to be pretty hype about that. It's right. it's pretty neat, besides the fact that it sold out in like half a second, but she got hers. Oof. So that's that's still good. <laughs> good for um, you, Shy. So the, the new Orcs will be coming at us soon. I might get the Great White Squig. Uh, just because he's so incredibly cool looking and I want to paint him up. Yeah, um, that'd be a good one to get. But besides that, shall I take us home? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said shy take us home. I was like, how the fuck is she going to do that? It's like, I don't know shy, why shy I thought that. <laughs> shy has got, she's too busy. She's got things to do. Yeah, she's too busy. She's editing this damn thing. Thank you <laughs> very much home. for watching our squig tier list today. I hopefully it was okay that we had like a little bit of a silly episode in between our stuff. We'll probably talk more about other things in the future. My name is Bricky. You can find me at Bricky Bricky stuff. Deke uh, Alfarius, where can they find you? Uh, I yes, I'm still Alfarius at DK Diamantes everywhere. Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube. Real DK Diamantes on Instagram. Squigs, man. So many squigs. Squigs, so many squigs. squigs. man. Squigs. <laughs>